Hi everyone and welcome to this webinar or video of my adventures into service portal and the use of the link function. My name is Goran Lundqvist and I'm a big fan of service now and going to show you what I did and how I got it to work. A small disclaimer would be that <laughs> first time doing it so there might be easier ways to do it and if you know anything of that just drop me an email or hit me on LinkedIn or drop a comment on the YouTube channel. So to sum it up what I was looking for was that if you search for an article in the knowledge base like this one you can see that I have pictures in it. And what I would like to do is when I click on it, it will get enlarged. So I can see a little bit better what the picture is about. So what I did was I covered this widget and I just to show you the end result is that when you click on it, you get it open in a module. It's very slow at the moment, should be kind of instant earlier at least. So what did I do to make this happen? Well, let's take a look at the widget. And it's kind of scary, the little amount of code I had to do to make it work, but it took me a lot of hours finding out how to get it to work. So what we got in the HTML template is the modal, modal code which is pretty much up here. And this is really the standard way. So if you go to the bootstrap, you can just look at the documentation and see the different examples. What I have done is I, I made a modal and I got the image with no source, so it's not visible. And what I then did was hit the link function. <laughs> and this is the code that is needed to make it all work. And the biggest problem I had was that basically this one is what you do. And what this does is it says that go to all the image elements, make an event on click. And when you click on it, you should go to this element with the ID modal image, which is this one with no source. And it says that the attribute source should instead be this, meaning the object, the element I was clicked on, that one's attribute source. Meaning that if I click on this one, you can see that the source is this one. So it takes pretty much takes this one and adds that to the modal instead. And after that, I just test the modal itself to show itself by tagging the ID image modal, which we got up here. And all the modal stuff will add things like the close button up here and so on. When I first Googled it, I went to V3 schools instead. It needed a little bit of more coding to make it work with close and so on. But why use that when you can use the, the bootstrap module instead? Now, as you can see, I have added a little bit more of code to get it to work. Because if I only had this one, it didn't work because when this code ran, the HTML element wasn't rendered yet. So it didn't find any of the image elements to add the event. So what I did was I, thanks to Oleg, my colleague, who is a little bit better on this kind of stuff than me, so he helped me with it. So we did this one, Windows set interval in 1000 milliseconds. So each second, the function in here will run. And what I do is I check if there is an element with the class KB wrapper is visible. Does that one exist? If it does, it stops the interval from running. So it does run every second the whole time. But when that's done, the interval is ready and then attach the events. And by if you're wondering about the KB wrapper, it's pretty much this part so when this one is loaded we attach elements so it wasn't more than that 
but this was my first time I did the link function and I really understand what I can do with it and a lot more of course. So if you have any questions, just post it on the YouTube channel or hit me on LinkedIn, Goran Lundqvist, or of course post in the community and we'll help out there. Okay, thank you.